Hi, my name's Dart and welcome to my Clan Wars series. Now before I get into this video, some people have complained at me that I don't have uh, a little intro at the start of my videos. I'm very sorry about that, I've done this for you. I hope you're happy. Now this is going to be my Town Hall 8 Surgical Hog Guide. And those of you who followed my channel for a while will know that I love the Surgical Hog Attack. I actually had the uh, the first Town Hall 9 Surgical Hog tutorial on YouTube. So it's an attack which is close to my heart, and now my Town Hall 8 is ready to war. I thought this was going to be a good one to uh, to start off with. So um, we're going to have a look at this attack. It is completely dominant as far as Town Hall 8 bases go, because they just don't have enough DPS to, uh, to account for it. So I'm going to show you the attack straight away rather than rabbiting on about it, and then I'm going to show you it and I'm going to break it down for you. So um, so here's the base. Uh, quickly, I'm going to um, send the kill squad in through here, and the hogs are going to go in surgically like this. So have a watch for that, and here we go. So the first thing to, um, to bear in mind is luring is important at Town Hall 8. Uh, it's really, really hard to do a hog attack if you don't lure, because you don't have an archer queen as you do at Town Hall 9 in order to... Um, to wipe out that CC. Archer Queens really do cover a multitude of sins. It's one of the things I had to get used to when I came back down to Town Hall 8 because um, I'm now quite reliant on my Queen. I just send her in and let her do the business. So here fortunately we have two Golems and Golems have way too much health for Town Hall 8 defences so um, we just let the Golems do the tanking and then the Wizards take out the CC. You'll notice I've got quite a wide funnel here. That's because I didn't want the splash damage to take out those fellas. The little ones with the bombs. So wall breakers are vital because again we don't have jump spells. So we need to give them a wide berth. They get in, we've got the um the king, he's gonna follow the wall breakers in. Staying behind the wall breakers, what a coward. And now in go the hogs. So you'll see I've got the CC hogs have gone in, they're level five, so I'm gonna put them down at the start to make sure they do the most work possible. Give them a heal to keep them alive. And then the rest of the hogs are gonna work in. You deploy them in twos and threes. I try not to put more than three down. Obviously with the CC ones it's impossible to avoid it, but I try not to put more than three or four down um, on a defence. That archer tower at the top was a little bit different because I wanted those hogs to head back in towards the town hall, towards that wizard tower. Like at town hall nine, wizard towers are the issue with hogs, wizard towers and giant bombs. Obviously the surgical part takes care of the giant bombs because the king and the golems, they'll take out the double giant bombs and then that just leaves one left over. So the other concern are wizard towers, so uh, you want to get them down as quickly as possible. If you can kill them with the kill squad, that's great. If not, then um, then just make sure you don't have all of the hogs getting hit by a wizard tower, unless they're under a heal. And that's it. That's, um, that one was a sub two minute, I think. So uh, yeah, quick attacks are nice, they're always fun, but, uh, but it's important to get the three stars. It's not very good if it's a quick attack, because they all died to uh, the giant bombs. So this is going to be my second attack. Now... What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this base, and I'm going to explain how to do it. Now, on this one, we have um, it's a bit of a weird base. The reason why I had to help out with this base at the end was because it's got giant bombs in here, and there's three of them. So he's put all three in there, and what you can't really afford to do is send your kill squad after the king, which is what a lot of people would do, because you will run into those giant bombs, and you just can't path around them. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to send in the kill squad through here. The idea is that they're going to take out pretty much this section of the base, so about 25% of the base, and then we're going to deploy our hogs as we go. So we're going to start up here. That's because this particular archer tower will be firing down on the kill squad, so we need to get that down quickly. Then we're going to go here, here, here. A little distraction, a couple, um, couple of extra hogs in for that wizard tower, as I said, get rid of him quickly and then we're going to allow them all to congregate down here. Now what that means is, with your hog deployment, I sometimes see people try too hard to cover the whole base with hogs. You don't need to. You only need to cover about 50%. So your kill squad takes about 25% of the um, of the radius of the base. The hogs take about half of it, and then that leaves this section, sort of 25% of it, where both sides converge. So they're both going to end up down here, and usually that's where you'll use your last heal. So um, what we're looking for here with the hogs is pathing. So on this archer tower, they're going to go to that archer tower, then they're going to go to that mortar, then they're going to go into that uh, air defense. So one heal is going to want to be in there, because by that point they're going to have taken a significant amount of damage, and there's probably some, some traps or, or little bombs in there. 
So we're going to drop in a couple of hogs there. They will then head straight into that archer tower. They'll benefit from that heal as well. We're going to drop some in here. We're going to drop some in here. And as I said, wizard towers are really important. So we're going to drop a few in there with a heal to take care of that little section. So that's the plan. Let's, um, let's have a look at it in action. The other thing I'm going to talk about, actually, before we get into this, the really, really important thing at Town Hall 8 is funneling. So Town Hall 8 is all about being efficient. If you see people do attacks and they fail, it's usually because they weren't, they weren't careful enough with their troops. You only have very small armies at Town Hall 8 in comparison to the defences that you have to take out. So here, you'll watch the start of the attack. We, um, we get the lure first off. That goes in. We can speed through this bit because it's boring. Pull the dragon out. Right now, three wizards up there to kill the dragon. Two down here to take that out. As soon as I drop the um, as soon as I drop the wall breakers to open up that section, this golem starts moving. Then drop the wall breakers there to open up that section. What we're going to do basically is we're going to keep all of these wizards alive, and they're all going to head inside. That's what I mean about being efficient. You just can't afford to waste troops. So then we're going to drop the wall breakers in pairs just to get open that section with the bombs. I had a spare pair just in case. They end up opening up a, a bit more of the base. But you can see all those wizards are still alive. So now we can go the hogs nice and quickly. Drop in that one hog up the top as I said. He joined by a friend just for that wizard tower just to stop her from hitting the um, all of the, uh, the CC hogs. We've got two heals down at once, just to help out those hogs down at the bottom. And as by this point, you will no doubt have noticed, uh, it's carnage. Base is over, it's done. Dropped a couple of um, a couple of wizards at the top. That again is another important distinction. A lot of Town Hall 8s you'll see, particularly first time Town Lights, it's different for me because I'm coming back down to Town Light. First time Town Lights, you'll see them drop all of their troops right at the start of the raid. Um, a bit like a, a teenage boy on prom night. They kind of blow their load at the start and then don't have um, don't have anything left when it counts. So uh, don't do that. Keep a couple of um, couple of wizards, some archers left over, because the number of people at Town Lake who manage to get down all the defences and then run out on um, on the cleanup is um, is pretty high. Right, so uh, that is how to do a surgical goho at Town Hall 8. If you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment. I do answer all of them. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. They really do help. And share it with your clan. And until the next time, folks, happy clashing.